Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. I am excited because in today's video, we are going to be filming how to pack for a baby and a toddler. We're going to be going on a trip to California to visit my family for the first time since the pandemic. I have not seen them in two years. And the last time I left, I was pregnant with Nash and now I'm returning with two babies. So they're gonna be so excited. Nobody's ever met the kids and I can't wait for them to meet. Uh, this pandemic has been hard on everybody, especially for those who live far away from their loved ones. Um, so I'm excited to go see them. And so we've got a pack. So um, this is my first time <laughs> traveling with children, but I have got some great tips that I picked up from a couple of YouTubers like Milena Ciciotti, um, Olivia Zappo, I follow Angela Braneth, and she's got like eight kids herself. So I've got some really good tips for you. But also, um, I'm traveling with my two sisters, and they've got two to three kids of their own. And they're already older now, but they gave me some great tips. And there's nothing like an experienced mama to help out us new mamas figure out the way to go about these things. And I wanted to share some of those tips with you because I thought all of these things were so helpful. And if they help me, I'm sure they can help you too. So if you'll see behind me, I've got suitcases and little sister back there. <laughs> Hi there. I'm gonna be going over some items to bring, some essentials that I've learned, um, everything from clothes to health products, um, and then bathing products, all of these things that you don't think of that you have at home, but when you're on the road, you don't realize that you need them. I've had some experience myself staying at a few hotels with Nash before, and I remember I wished I had some of these things, so I will share them with you. And also, ah, some hacks that I've learned along the way too. So let's get started. So here we are, we have a check-in bag and we have a carry-on bag where I put me and hubby stuff already. Um, but here's my dilemma. I've got a portable bassinet here and it's taking up like half of the check-in space. I don't think this is gonna work. Gotta figure something else out. So uh, here's our check-in bag. I'm gonna put the kids stuff in here. So my sister-in-law's N. Milena Ciciotti all recommended getting these packing cubes and they're too small for me and hubby but they are perfect size for the kids so I got Spider-Man for Nash and this baby blue one for sister and I got this at, um, what's it called? Mini So Life, it's like a um, small Japanese store and then it also comes with a little carry case inside. One, ooh, any waterproof bag, which is always good for babies since we have to change clothes and diapers so often. I talked about that in my last video, bringing a wet to dry bag with you all the time. And let's see what's in Nash's Spider-Man bag. Oh, he's got another packing cube. Oh, and this one looks like for shoe size. That could fit an adult's shoe size. Ah, and then, then the smaller one. And that's it for Nash. So perfect. That looks like more than enough. So let's pack the kids stuff. Okay, so we're going for six days. Um, but I'm sure we're gonna buy stuff there and receive gifts because we've got lots of family over there. Uh, lots of birthdays and baptisms and baby showers that they missed. So I'm sure they got a lot of gifts for us. So I don't wanna pack too heavy because I feel like we're gonna bring a lot of stuff home as well. That's another thing about going on vacation. You have to consider all of the souvenirs you're gonna buy there. Uh, so you wanna leave room. So, going for six days, I'm going to pack three pajamas. And uh, she can double up on a few of them. 
If not, we have access to a washer and dryer. Uh, that's another tip that I learned. Um, make sure you have access to a washer and dryer because kids get dirty very often, uh, so their clothes are going to be needing to get washed pretty often. You just never know. Um, so, three pajamas, and then outfits. I got one, two. I'm bringing a lot of onesies and dresses just because they're easier to pack uh, than a two piece or a three piece. And we just got this cute little summery lemon dress for her baptism. That's nice and comfy, and I'm going to put her in that on the plane. She could also sleep in that, too, because it is like 100 degrees in California right now, so short sleeve to sleep in might be a good option. So all of the other ones, these are long sleeves because we live in Canada. I just have to show you some of this cute stuff that she got for her baptism. I mean, there's a purse attached to those shorts with this cute top. I mean, come on. Just one more. You remember my favorite swimsuit that I showed you guys in my mommy friendly swimsuit haul? This one? Well, my sister went and got Nora a matching not the cutest thing I've ever seen. So I've got, for six days, I've got three onesies, six rompers slash dresses, uh, two swimsuits, and then three pairs of socks. Oh, so hard to decide. Girls have so many cute things. Like, look at this cute little romper I got. And I want to wear it now because I don't know how long she's going to fit into these cute things, you know? Uh, so... Let's just bring it. a little more difficult to pack for because he's a toddler and he has a lot of two pieces. So one trick I learned from Elena Ciciati was if you have, look how cute this little pineapple set is. So if you have a set of two, you just roll them together and pack them like that so your outfit is already set. So that's one, two, three. I got a bright, super bright t-shirt just in case we decide to go to like Disneyland or Universal. Uh, I don't want to lose him so I decided to bring a super bright t-shirt. It's the closest I can get to putting a leash on the kid without being judged. One, two, three, four, five, Six outfits for Nash. One, two, three sleepers, and his swimsuit, and swim hat, and I've got a sun hat for sister as well, and then three pairs of socks. And then for the plane, I think I'm going to put Nash in his Adidas jumpsuit. So he's comfortable, but stylish. Because it is LA people, we still gotta look good. Okay, now let's pack for Nash. You want to go in the airplane, Nash? Okay, now I want to talk about some of the feeding supplies that we're going to need. Um, so Nash is already a toddler. I will be packing some snacks for Nash. So he has his yogurt, his applesauce packets, I got him some fruit snacks, some crackers, and then I'm bringing an empty sippy cup for Nash because he still has a problem with uh, 
not spilling a cup if I give it to him. So we're going to bring an empty sippy cup for Nash and then fill it up after we get through airport security. Also for Nash, I'm going to bring his portable snack container and I'll put a picture of it up here for you. And that should be good as far as food for the toddler. Now food for the baby. So um, Nora is no longer breastfeeding. Uh, she is f being formula fed now. So that makes it kind of difficult getting through airport security. So I did a little research as to what was allowed, what I could bring. So for Nora, um, you are allowed to bring food, formula, milk, and water. For if you have a baby two and under. I'm gonna be bringing my thermos that I talked about in my diaper bag video. Also an unopened can a formula and then I'm going to be filling up my portable formula container with three feedings in here. I'm only going to be bringing two bottles. I don't want to overwhelm myself with a bunch of bottles and cleaning and two is fine. Some people find it helpful to bring a drying rack. I'm going to be staying at people's homes so I don't really need to think about a drying rack but if you were staying at a hotel I could imagine that you wouldn't want to dry your bottles in the bathroom on top of the sink that's disgusting so you may want to bring a drying rack then. I'm also going to bring a couple containers of pouch baby food uh, just because I don't know where we're gonna be, how convenient it is to get baby friendly food that's small and mashed and cut up. So I'm just gonna bring some pouches of food for the baby. Okay now we're gonna move on to some more health related things. So first diapers and behind me if you can see, sorry, I am multitasking right now. Um, so I got like 20 diapers. Um, I stacked some in here, and I also stuffed some in Nash's packing cube. And then, sister, I got another 20 over there. I'm packing two things of wipes. I've got my wet to dry bag, and I put Spoon for Nora, that's baby size, a bib for Nora, for travel, and then I'm also going to put the extra baby bottle brush in here, so all of the food related stuff is together. Hi. And then of course my little hack is to bring the doggy doo doo bags, so there's 10 pack in here, just in case I need it, I'm going to stuff it in my diaper bag. And then, um... Packing some first aid stuff, some like teething drops for Mommy sure, because she's teething right now. You can see what I pack in my diaper bag in my what's in my diaper bag video. So all that's already done. I don't have to think about that. Um, I got a portable little baby shampoo. I'm going to buy two of those because they go through those pretty quickly. And then uh, Nash's toothbrush and toothpaste. Last thing was uh, I ordered a inflatable baby tub so I'm excited about this one I'll put a picture of it up here um, I just ordered it today so I can't show it to you just yet but um, I'm excited about this I got the idea off of Pinterest last time I traveled with Nash I gave him a bath in the hotel tub and there's no mat at the bottom of the tub so he ended up slipping and he fell and he hit the back of his head and I was so worried that we would have to take him to the hospital, like it was a whole thing. So just to avoid that kind of stress anymore, especially with sister being around the same age that he was when that whole incident happened, um, I ordered an inflatable baby tub and you can put this in a regular tub and just blow it up and you will know that they're safe. So I'll get some use out of that. And then sun protection, I got my sunglasses and sunscreen that I talked about in my diaper bag video. So luckily that's already all in there. I don't have to think about it. See how it helps packing your diaper bag way in advance, all ready to go just in case you need it. Now I'm packing for a trip, I don't have to worry about it. So as far as entertainment, um, I got a great tip from Elena Ciciotti. She just brings a roll of tape and she tapes it to like the back of the chair in front of her on the plane 
and then your kids can like play with it and be entertained and like pull off the tape. It's cheap and it's portable. I thought that was a great idea, so I'm going to bring a roll of tape also. I'm just going to bring some tea there for Nora. She doesn't need too much to be entertained. She's probably going to be sleeping most of the time anyway. Um, I'm going to bring a I'm going to bring a play mat for Nora um, just in case because she likes to be down on the floor now practicing her crawling and she's really antsy uh, if you're just carrying her all day. So she likes to be put down. So I'm going to bring a play mat so I could just lay it down in the airport or in the grass or something if I need to and just put her down for a second and let her get out some energy. But for Nash, um, I was influenced by an ad on Instagram and it got me. Uh, I got these quiet books and these are really great. Uh, I actually ordered mine from Amazon. And so there's these little activity books. So this is an ambulance and the ambulance goes to the hospital. And they stick what? with these little um, what? Velcro. What? And the fire truck goes to the fire. What? Little things like that. Colors, yes. puzzles, Mom, another puzzle. That's the vehicle one. And then I got the fruits and vegetable one. This one you can match up. Tomatoes go here. Potatoes go there. Yeah. See, Nash is here. Nash yeah. loves it. Yeah. Oh. What is that? Bok choy? Where does the bok choy go? There. That's right. Nash loves it. I've already started playing with it. Um, you, you do have to get it ready and put all the Velcro pieces on yourself. So we opened it up, put all the Velcro on. Nash. Yeah, there. Good job, babe. Yay. Yay. So Nash helped me get it ready. And it wasn't too expensive. It was only $25 on Amazon per book. But I saw similar ones. Really cute ones on Etsy going for $100 each. So um, I thought $25 was not that bad. You want to play? Oh, yeah. We're going to play on the airplane, okay? We're not going to play right now. So we can have so much fun in the airplane. Oh, we got teethers for sister. And then Nash. Uh, yeah, we got activity books. It's only like a two hour flight. And then his cousins are going to be with him too, so he'll be plenty entertained. We've got lots of snacks. As long as Nash has snacks, he's a happy kid. Uh, pacifiers. Nash, where's your banky? Bring pacifiers, bring pacifier clips. Especially I heard when babies are flying, it helps for them. What am I trying to say? It helps with their ear popping and the ear pressure if they have a pacifier to suck on or like a bottle or breastfeeding during takeoff and landing. So I packed both of the kids' pacifiers, got the pacifier wipes in the bag. I'll, I'll bring two baby blankets and the sound machine and the pacifiers to help them sleep. I actually might go buy some more bib pacifiers from Toys R Us because they sell them now. Okay, and then some baby essentials. We got the diaper bag. Um, this is the only carry-on that I'm going to be bringing. We're going to check the stroller at the airplane. We're bringing a double stroller. So we got a side-by-side -side stroller from one of our friends and we just bought it off of them. Um, we figured we were only gonna use it a couple times so we didn't want to buy one brand new. So that's always an option. So passports we got in the diaper bag. Uh, also bring birth certificates because I heard some horror stories of people who um, said the airline wasn't accepting that their child was under two without proof. So you want to bring your birth certificates just in case so you have proof. And also in case you lose the passports, you want to have the birth certificate so the baby can get around with you. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's everything. Ooh. Hi! Hi! <laughs> He's hi. a good boy. Say hi. hi! He's getting so big, isn't he? Hi! Hi! He picked out his own shirt hi. today. Hi! <laughs> um, hi! Oh, yeah. Oh, are we tired? You just woke up from your nap. Um, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. If you are not following me on Instagram, be sure to do so. Uh, you can even follow along with us on our trip. Are you playing sleeping? Yeah, so Elisa... We're all packed now, and thank you guys for watching along as I packed. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.
Bye. Bye.